Praise the Lord, my dear brothers and sisters. A warm welcome to one and all of you and I greet you in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. As always, I feel very privileged and happy to be part of these sessions and uh, I want to thank our beloved God who is our guide, who is our teacher, who is our mentor and everything that happens in this world, everything that happens in your life, you don't have to imagine but be assured that it is in God's control. Without his awareness, yeah, without his um, permission, there is nothing that happens in this world. And same applies to your life. So when certain situations that are against you, there are some circumstances where you are ending up in fighting battles, definitely be reminded of one thing that God is definitely in control over that situation. It's just a matter of time. It's just a matter of no efforts. Don't say that it's a matter of efforts. No, it's a matter of time. Efforts come up from the Lord and your waiting time. You know, that is where your patience and faith is put to test. Your perseverance is put to test. Therefore, when all of these are fulfilled, it comes to a good shape. You are a man of perfection. You are a woman of perfection. You are going to be a woman of perfection. Right? That's what the uh, Bible says in uh, James chapter 1, verses 2 to 4. Count it all joy when you go through trials. Never easy to practice. Never easy to practice. I have tried this and I have failed and I have tried this and I have failed but at some point of time God helped me to overcome that failure and it's nice. When you practice it's nice. A warm welcome to this short session where we are dealing through um, certain subjects that are very important. At the same time the idea is we could cover many things in the short span of time. Um, if you are interested in detailed Bible teaching that is our primary calling and I really want you to subscribe to our channel therefore you will be part of our programs you will be getting those receiving those automatic notifications and you won't miss on any of these important studies that we are conducting right now we are talking through second coming of jesus more than 200 of 200 hours of teaching available for you there and we are still going ahead i do not know how many more sessions i will need but do not miss today's session is going to be from book of 1 corinthians chapter 8 and verses 1 to 13 will be our meditation verse. And the title that is given by Apostle Paul, which has been very well translated by the NKJV translators, is Be Sensitive to Conscience. Or Be Sensitive to Conscience. Conscience is from heart, it travels to mind. Correct. Today, in this world that we are living, it's full of uh, rage. The reason is because people end up with a lot of hasty decisions. They do not have time for almost anything. Why? Because the world is really rushing to innovate more, to automate more, to discover more, to invent more, 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 more. For what? Right? During my days, um, even traveling by buses, the town buses, right? The city buses, itself was a kind of a miracle. It was very decent because there were too many buses, um, and the, especially the place where I was born, a city called as Coimbatore. The bus facilities were fantastic. And for me to cope up with those buses, the time and schedule, real discipline is needed because if I would miss the bus, I would be paying a price. Then, uh, you know, so many other facilities came and uh, I never have traveled in taxis. <clears throat> there was always town buses or by walk, not even auto auto rickshaw. Nowadays, you have everything at the click of a button. You want a cab, the guy will come and uh, he will pick you. Uh, any Anything, even flight, you can, you can really book from your mobile app. It's all instantaneous. So what happens is, people don't have time to pay attention to their thoughts, to attention to their conscience. Bible talks about conscience. In a generic term, in a, in a generalized manner, I'm, I'm, I'm explaining. Later we will get into the subject of the Bible, right? So if you see in this world, why? Because everyone are in a rush. They are under pressure, constant pressure, corporate pressure. If you may work in any company. You have to do better. Year over year, you have to show improvement. You have to climb up and up and up and above. <laughs> Otherwise, <clears throat> you're not going to get promotion. You're not going to get a hike. But... <clears throat> Um, the price is uh, skyrocketing <clears throat> year over year you don't see petrol prices going down petrol prices are rising up and petrol prices rise up every every 
thing that you buy is going to rise up so you have to do more therefore you don't have time to pay attention to your conscience right and and in a way that's the way how the devil the demons have kept the world occupied with so many thoughts that you will never ever pay attention to the conscience if you are a believer in christ now i'm getting into the biblical way of looking at this same perspective but from a biblical way or a you know same thought through a biblical perspective if you are a believer in christ how many of you know or how many of you believe that your conscience is completely controlled and managed by holy spirit who lives right inside of you your body is the temple of god bible says that in 1 corinthians 620 1 corinthians 316 and all this verses if you read you will understand and the reason i'm telling you this is because he will teach you the holy spirit who lives inside of us will teach and guide and lead us from the scriptures that which especially jesus spoke and taught that's what john 14:26 says right and when you are surrendering your life in submittance in humility in surrenderance then the holy spirit is able to lead you from the front the holy spirit is able to guide you from the front right and he will never let you down he will never forsake you that's what bible says and if your conscience is being managed and controlled by the holy spirit then everything and anything that you do in your life every decision you take every choice you make there will be no errors you can be really guaranteed about that right you you don't have to be worried about that at all um now i want to read from the bible and i've just set a contest context the baseline context verse number 1 1 corinthians chapter 8 verse number 1 i'm reading from nkjv version um now concerning things offered to idols we know that we all have knowledge knowledge puffs up but love edifies the problem is today too many people are into idolatry not about only statue worship and some image and form no anything that stands between you and god it could be money it could be pride it could be bitterness it could be envy it could be anything gossiping spirit it's an idolatry and what happens is we all have knowledge and knowledge puffs up but have uh, but love edifies the problem here with christians especially we have head filled knowledge we have a lot of knowledge from the bible even i was there i know bible in and out but i was not the doer of the word therefore what happens is the holy spirit couldn't move in and out freely within me and therefore i was missing that fellowship i was missing something in me was really you know kind of a void and uh, the holy spirit told me that you have head full knowledge whereas you have to practice you have to be the doer of the word be obedient to the laws and commandments of god and love edifies you know love when you think what is the first step for the love to uh, be you know evolving in your life what is the first step the first step is when you are obedient the love of god travels through you and therefore you are able to extend that love towards everyone whom you know even your enemy you know and if anyone thinks that he knows anything he knows nothing yet as he ought to know you and i should never ever make that statement in our life i know everything even the even you know not not too many preachers are very inter, you know um, what to say well versed in teaching skills or preaching skills there are boring preachers too but then never say that you know i know that uh, preacher i know this subject no even through that preacher through that uh, same subject which you are well versed god could still talk to you i have always learned that i have always learned that from the congregation that i attend the church that i attend i have learned to pay attention therefore never be puffed up that you have that knowledge right and i'm slowly coming to the conscience part right but if anyone loves god this one is known by him therefore concerning the eating of things offered to idols we know that an idol is nothing in the world and that there is no other god but one for even if there are so called gods whether in heaven or on earth as there are many gods and many lords see paul is picking up a case study during those days they were offering uh, what is this the food to idols and they were having you know all the paganite fellows even even today also the paganite worshipers they do the same paul says i have nothing like that that is because i don't believe in any other god or goddesses other than my god therefore they let them offer anything to anyone give it to me i will comfortably eat no problem right but because why that doesn't disturb my conscience that's what he is trying to say 
but that does not mean you could go to a prostitution center or a you know whatever pub center or pub you know the alcoholics uh, alcoholics and all that and yeah, it doesn't doesn't disturb my conscience and all that bible says in the previous chapters if you read do not have fellowship with the uh, sexually immoral people sexually immoral people also see boils down to everything and anything that doesn't suit our spiritual system i'm just con- you know clarifying everything then and there uh um, now yet for us there is only one god the father of whom are all things and we for him and one lord jesus christ through whom are all things and through whom we live however there is not in everyone that knowledge you know what he says is here very clear our conscience is tightly coupled to our lord jesus and that he is the only god he is only savior my conscience is tightly attached to him there is nothing else that could drag me away from his love that's what he's trying to say why am why am i trying to say all of this is you need to check your spiritual status however there is not in everyone that knowledge for some with consciousness of the idol until now eat it as a thing offered to an idol and their conscience being weak is defiled right you know the same example the previous example but when the same uh, food which is offered to idol is offered to them they have that conscience they because why because it's offered to someone they don't eat right because your conscience is weak therefore don't eat but food does not come and uh, sorry does not come and us uh, to god for neither if we eat or we the better nor if we do not eat or we the worse it's just a food man why are you getting worked up what is more important is the conscience that is inside you your habitual principles your judgmental attitude your gossiping spirit your complaining habit all these things really needs attention not the food you know you know this is the problem in the christendom where they need to pay a lot of attention people ignore it comfortably they bury it down into the earth but then why are they have to pay a lot of attention which will really help them to grow spiritually and also get closer to god and be a blessing to the world and light to the world they don't pay attention that's exactly what paul is trying to tell you all right and uh, but beware uh, let's uh, let's somehow this liberty of yours become a stumbling block to those who are weak for if anyone sees you uh, who have knowledge eating in an idol's temple will not the conscience of him who is weak be emboldened to eat those things offered to idols and because of your knowledge shall the weak uh, uh, you know shall the weak brother perish for whom christ died but when you thus sin against the brethren and wound their weak conscience you sin against christ therefore a food makes my brother stumbling i will never again eat meat lest i make my brother stumble i read the whole paraphrase because it will be easy to explain he is taking one case study now don't limit it only to food offered to idol that is one case study similarly if you have a habit yeah for example you can go and get along with uh, a gossiper yet you will make every effort to change him but then your brother watching you also will make the same effort but he may be weak in his conscience therefore what happens is he will get carried away with that spirit of gossiping and he will also become a gossiper likewise you know your companionship with an alcoholic your companionship with another you know a glutton who is glutton for food glutton for sex and this and that you have you you might be very matured because you have learned it over years but do not set that as an example do not set that as a rule to your fellow brothers to your family to your wife to your husband to your child why because they their conscience is weak in the sense they are still growing in the spiritual ladders and they are not yet as strong as you are that is one aspect second aspect is many a times we also assume that we are strong but we end up you know being weak which we are not even aware right even if we are aware we don't admit and that is called as pride in our heart because why i have been in this congregation for almost 20 years i am an elder i have taken water baptism 28 years ago i have seen so many i have heard so many sermons i have read bible so many times don't i know everything that's called as pride and that pride itself can blunt make your conscience really blunt it can make it blunt and you won't be able to um, you know hear the voice of the holy spirit who cries right within you and that is also another problem 
therefore paying attention to conscience is nothing but paying attention to the voice of the holy spirit if you want to pay attention to the voice of the holy spirit first of all you need to ensure that the holy spirit is traveling with you he lives right inside you and all this checks you you are able to do only if you are aligned in the word of god only if you are having that habitual principle right or a habit where you consistently work with god through his word abide abiding and adhering in his laws and commandments only then your conscience is managed and controlled by the holy spirit right more than controlling it's managed by the holy spirit where he will guide you or lead you to do the right things in life you are alive in the spirit you have that experience of walking in the spirit according to galatians chapter 5 you can take and read uh, ephesians chapter 5 you take and read 1 john chapter 2 all these whole chapters you take and read you will understand how to test your spiritual status and therefore you know whether your conscience is of the holy spirit or is of the demonic spirit right you really need to be very careful be watchful and attentive god bless you hope today's session was useful please share these videos and channel details with whomever you know this these will be very useful to lead others into the uh, you know the life of salvation uh, through into christ and uh, it will be a blessing to whomever you are sharing to right and likewise continue to remember us in your ministries uh, and our ministries in your prayers if you have not subscribed please subscribe to our channel why because you will start receiving automatic notifications each time we release videos and new programs new series new episodes that we kick off do not miss and uh, likewise if you have a prayer request do not run to any human beings including pastors anyone including me anyone you go to your father in heaven and talk to him in the name of jesus you know make your petitions known to him therefore he will reward you publicly he will review all your concerns and he will perfect he will answer all of those bible says in psalms 138 and verse number 8 philippians 4 6 and john 14 14 Matthew chapter 6 verses 5 and 6 I want you to take and read therefore you know the pattern to pray the method to pray all right thank you very much for your time god bless you and see you very soon thank you